You probably know the story of the monk who was doing walking meditation so much that his feet were bleeding. Apparently he had been very delicately brought up, so his feet were very tender. When he ordained, he didn't have the solid calluses on his feet that just plain old walking on the ground requires. So he got discouraged. He sat down and was thinking about how maybe he should just give up, go back, become a layperson, make merit, but otherwise give up on the practice. The Buddha read his mind, disappeared from Vulture Peak, and appeared right in front of him. I don't know about you, but if the Buddha appeared in front of me while I was thinking something was not very skillful, I'd be very embarrassed. And immediately the Buddha asked him, were you thinking of disrobing? The monk said yes. And then the Buddha asked him, when you were young, or when you were a lay person, were you skilled at playing the lute? The monk said yes. And how did the lute sound when the strings were too tight? It didn't sound good. How about when they were too loose? That didn't sound good either. The Buddha said in the same way, you tune your, your level of energy to what you're capable of, and then you tune the other five faculties in the same way that when you tune, say, a guitar, you tune one string and then you tune the other four strings or three strings or whatever to that first string. And then the Buddha said, then you pick up your theme and play. Most tellings of the story focus just on the first part of the instructions. In other words, don't push yourself too hard, but don't be too lax. Find the point of just right. But the instructions go beyond that. This is the Buddha's. Basically, start where you are a Dharma talk. So you start out with what you're capable of. It might have to do with, if you have an illness, you have to take that into consideration. And if your level of practice is not all that advanced, you have to take that into consideration as well. You have to look at your capabilities and adjust everything else in the practice to that. And the everything else here applies to your conviction, your mindfulness, your concentration, and your discernment. In other words, when there are limitations on your capabilities, don't sit down with the thought, I'm going to sit here until I get, attain supreme awakening, and if I don't attain supreme awakening, I'm going to let my blood and flesh dry out. You're not ready for that yet. In other words, adjust your expectations for what you can do in the meditation to what you're capable of, where you are. Have a clear idea of where you are in the practice, and you don't sit around wishing you were someplace else that you had a different loot. This is the loot you've got, and this is your level of skill. So you learn how to tune the loot. Your expectations for your level of concentration, your realizations of the mindfulness that you're capable of, and also exactly what your theme is. That's an important part of the instructions. Theme here, of course, means the theme of your meditation, but it can also mean the theme of the rest of your practice as well. When the Buddha was giving his final instructions to the monks, he ended with the word, attain consummation. And there are many levels of consummation in the practice, starting from really basic ones like initiative, just learning how to get up and do something. If that's hard, okay, that's what you focus on. That's the level you're prepared for. That's your theme. How do you get up? How do you give yourself pep talks? How do you motivate yourself to practice? And then once you've got up and started practicing, then the other level of consummation you want to work on is how do you maintain, preserve what you've got, look after what you've got. Don't just throw yourself into the practice and then give up. You've got to develop a level of steadiness. And if you find that challenging, that's the level of consummation you want to work on or focus on to begin with. That's your theme. Given the way your lute is tuned, what your lute is capable of, and what you're capable of doing, that's the theme you want to work on. Here, of course, you want to think about Indian classical music, 
because that's the image, of course, the Buddha had in mind. They would take a raga, which is basically a string of sounds, and then play with it, work variations on it. But it's basically the same theme again and again and again. And different ways of tuning the lute would be right for different kinds of ragas. So given the way your lute is tunable, look at what you're capable of taking up. Focus on that. Now, if it's not the advanced sort of music you'd like to play, so how are you going to get to the advanced music? You start with the simple stuff. You master that first. Then you work your way up. This is one of the reasons the Buddha talks about skills so much in his analogies for the practice. You tune your lute today, learn what you're capable of today, and tomorrow you check again. Maybe you can tune it in a new way. This can, that provides the opportunity for different ragas and different themes. If you've got the basic skills in initiative and maintaining or preserving un under your belt, then there are other levels of consummation. Work on your views. Work on your, your virtue. Work on your concentration. Try to get the mind into as still a state as you can. And if it's not as still as you like, well, maintain what you've got. Don't throw away the good things you maintain. That, those basic principles of initiative and maintaining, these apply all the way through the practice. You want to build a practice that's solid, and all the way through it's going to require pushing yourself a little bit more than you thought, but not so hard that you just give up. Try to find the level that you can maintain and stick with it. So there are three parts to the Buddha's instructions to that monk. One, figure out what level of energy you've got. Two. What's the appropriate level of conviction, concentration, mindfulness, and discernment for that level of energy? And then pick up whatever the theme is that you've got to work on. That way your skill as a loop player will advance in a steady way.